But so I wanted to go ahead and uh, show you all this and uh, put this information out there for everybody. So this is a, a, as good as I could get the hand placement. And it, and it looks good at first glance, but you'll notice that what's actually happening is it's actually stretching the hands and it becomes more apparent when you're using a bow. Now you can really see it. And also because I'm forcing the hands into the proper positions, uh, if I don't um, force the rest of the body into the exact positions of every bone of the ALS character, which would make my character look pretty funny, then it won't work. You see? It won't work properly, I should say. And that's also the reason why you'll see the rifle does this. It doesn't stay against the torso. That torso cannot follow the ALS torso perfectly if we're making the hands follow the ALS torso. Uh, Towards uh, ALS hands perfectly, I should say. But basically, the issue is that our character does not have the same anatomy as the ALS character. Now, if you have a cartoon character and you don't mind them looking a little bit silly, then even if they don't have the same proportions, then it probably won't even be an issue. For example, Sinti characters uh, seem to work fine with this. Uh, human uh, characters that are anatomically correct will not look fine with this. It will not work with this. You will not be able to force the hands to follow their hands. So the only solution to that is to create your own hand system for this. If you're going to use a retarget pose from mesh, and if you want to do a hard retarget, here's an example of that right here. And the issue that I've been having with that is that I can't get these IK bones to follow perfectly. And when I do, the virtual bones are still pointing off over here for some reason. And that might be something to do with how I've been doing it. I'm going to experiment with that a little bit more and see if I can't get that to be fixed. Uh, that might be a possible solution. But I don't think I'm going to be posting any more like uh, videos suggesting that I found a solution for this anymore because uh, I keep thinking I'm, I found a solution and I, I don't. So you may be able to fix uh, these using... Uh, animation modifiers or you could export these into Maya or Blender and fix the positioning of them up like you would if you were actually creating these animations for a character you would have to rig them properly and have them follow uh, the hands correctly you would have to attach the gun to the IK handgun bone so that you, you'll know that it's pointed in the proper direction and it's placed properly throughout the animation, stuff like that. Or, like I said, you can try to create an animation modifier that'll properly place it. But other than that, guys, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think the IK uh, uh, rig system is going to work uh, for that it's not going to allow us to just plug and play. You're going to have to redo the hand placement system at least, at the very least. And more than likely, you're going to have to replace the IK uh, foot system with a control rig for your character that runs on your character's... Uh, and let me just go ahead and show you that as well. So if I go over here... Let's see. Okay, so, uh, yeah. So you would put the control rig right here, and you would put the hand 
placement system right here as well, right after the retarget post for mesh. And then you would just disable the IK foot and IK hand system for the ALS on the ALS animation blueprint and just have your character control its own foot and hand placement. And outside of that, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So uh, I apologize for that, but there's really not much I can do about it. It, it boils down to body proportions. You can try to get create your characters to have the exact body proportions. And when I say body proportions, I mean the length of the upper arm, the length of the lower arm, the length of the hand, uh, the length of the fingers, the length of the thigh, the calf, the foot, all those, maybe not the feet, but the calf and the thigh and the arms and the hand and the spine where the shoulder rests on your character needs to be where the shoulder rests on theirs and the head as well. If you want your character to be able to follow these animations exactly, then that's what you would need.